Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74. We're going to do another OLED video. And the reason why I want to do a video on OLED is, again, I'm getting comments every single day about OLED. And they're in that love and hate thought process. People that have them, love them, or people that have had them, hated them, sent them back. But most of the comments are from people that don't own them, that are either afraid of them, overly cautious, just totally disliking the technology. There's always going to be that. But the biggest thing I hear about OLEDs is very simple. People do not want to babysit their displays. They don't want to have to be careful with them. And they don't want to have to be mindful of how to maintain them. And I want to talk about that particular part of this video. That's really the subject of the video. Now, I'm filming this um, I'm actually showing you a plasma. I don't own an OLED myself. Several people I know that have them, that have bought them on my recommendations, have had all kinds of success with them, but they are careful with them. They do treat them like very, very high-end pieces of technology. What I mean is they're mindful as far as screensavers, varying their content changing their gaming habits as far as playing long, long gaming sessions with a static HUD on the screen. Even things like Netflix menus, moving them around, putting screensavers on all of their equipment, including their cable boxes, TV menus, everything. Now, that sounds to a lot of you to be too much maintenance and a lot of work. Now, why am I showing you a plasma? As plasma had the exact same issue as OLED, image retention, Burn-in. Image retention is also not permanent, meaning it'll ghost for a little while, then it'll fade away. Burn-in is burns in, and that's just where it is, and it doesn't go away. Image retention dissipates, goes away after a couple hours. Per, you know, permanent burn-in is when you can see the image, whether it's a you know ESPN in the corner or a cable feed where you see the channels name there at all times or like i said a gaming hud where the score is there in certain games or lines what's ironic is the phone that i'm actually using to film this is a samsung galaxy s9 plus and it has horrible burn-in wish i could show it to you but you can see the youtube line in it you can see it right now as i film it actually with the camera on you can see the squares you can see the typing from returning the comments on youtube so, you know, these things aren't on for hours and hours and hours, and it still burns in. So, it's, I think it's a little bit unavoidable in terms of phones, but when it comes to TVs, the question is, or the statement is, I don't want to babysit my TV. Now, I want to know in the comments, for those of you that have OLEDs or have had them, what you feel about that, that statement. Do you feel like you have to babysit it? Do you feel like it's a lot of work? Um, do you feel that it's too much work? Is it dependent on children? Is it dependent on your spouse, your partners, your roommates? Do you feel like you can't trust them when you leave the house? Do you feel that that's too much work? Now, my side of it, having a plasma, I've had plenty of those moments where I've left the house and have panicked, leaving um, a, TV or a certain game system on in the menu. Now, remember, when I bought the plasma years ago, there wasn't screensavers on a lot of the systems. At least they weren't, you know, so there was that fear of, oh my God, I've made the phone call to my wife to say, go upstairs and turn the TV off. I've fallen asleep with the TV on. Now you can negate this with screensavers or sleep timers. You can do that. But for a lot of you, it is way too much work. Now, I want to hear your opinions in the comments. Is it too much work? Um, is that going to deter you from the picture quality that OLEDs offer? Um, is that is that something that's going to really deter you from spending that much money? Now, I understand that. The people that have very young kids that watch Nickelodeon and have all those static images in the corner where the TV is on for hours and hours and hours. I definitely do not recommend OLED for those people. Um, or people that their kid plays Fortnite constantly in the same game over and over and over. I don't recommend that. But my argument as far as them being high maintenance or something that you have to maintain is this. Anything high-end, anything that you spend a great deal of money on is going to be delicate. If you have a Mercedes, you have an Audi, you have a BMW, you have 
a higher end vehicle, you can't put regular gas in that car. You can't, you shouldn't. So are you not gonna buy a Mercedes or buy an Audi or buy any of those cars that I mentioned because you don't wanna spend money on the gas or you think it's foolish to put the wrong gas in? Is regular gas too much work to have to put that in instead of the ultra gas? So you can go against the manufacturer and put the other gas in and then deal with the problems after. Having a PC, owning a PC, PCs need to be maintained. You can't treat them like consoles. They need to be cleaned out. They need to be in a better space than a console. So is the PC too much work? So when I talk about high maintenance things, forget about going back to cars. If you had an exotic, if you had a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, do you think you can just drive that like any other car? You'd last a few days before it would break down. So my argument and how I feel about it is... If you're going to spend the money and get high-end technology, high-end anything is to treat it delicately, to treat it with some care. And that is just my how I feel about it. If you're somebody that doesn't want to do that and doesn't feel that you shouldn't be able to do that, then that's fine. There's no problem with purchasing any other technology. I just don't think it should be a nick on the or a negative on the technology itself that it needs to be maintained a certain way. Um, OLED burn-in is a real thing. I mean, I encourage you to check out artings.com. They did a year-long burn-in um, analysis where they left certain things on for periods of time, football, certain stations to see what it would do. I recommend checking that out and seeing what their findings were and see if that matches your usage. Obviously, that's over a year's time. They run them 24 hours a day, but it's very interesting to see because there is burn in there. But back to the initial part of the video is, is that going to be too much for you? What camp do you fall in? Do you basically say, look, I want a TV. I want it to be able to do everything I want it to do, and I don't want to be limited by if I leave it on too long. Or are you with the camp that is fine with treating it with delicate hands and making sure that you're mindful of its drawbacks. Plasma, I have a plasma here. I have two small children and do I have any burn in? I don't. This plasma was in a dedicated media room for most of its life. It's been upstairs in this living room now for a couple years and its usage isn't used as much as a lot of people. So is there burn in? There isn't, but they're not on the TV very long. This TV doesn't run. I don't watch much cable TV at all. So I've been able to manage it. But is it on all day long? No, they know not to leave it on all day long. So back to you guys. What are your thoughts? Let me know if you think you've spent the money and you should be able to treat it however you like. And if it does break, it's, it's purely the manufacturer's fault. Or do you find something like OLED to be akin to having a higher end vehicle that needs a certain kind of gas and a certain kind of maintenance. If you buy something cheaper, yeah, so you can beat the hell out of it. But I can't treat my PC the way I treat my Xbox. And I treat everything fine, don't get me wrong, but I really have to be more mindful of the PC than I do my Xbox. I have to be more mindful of this plasma than I have my 900E. So OLED buyers that are thinking about it, please check out the comments, see what OLED owners and former OLED owners say in the comments. Please get in those comments. Let me know what you think. And I'm dying to hear your opinion. Is it babysitting or is it maintaining a highest, highest, <laughs> high end piece of technology? Which is it? And how do you feel about it? And what camp do you fall into? All right, guys. Thank you as always. Take care.